Didn't I say I was breaking? Yeah, um, I said I was breaking, right? No, she's in game. One more. One more way. Yeah, you, you know that girl over there playing the pool? Yeah, her name is Stephanie. Um, why is she always over there looking so evil? I don't know. We've been friends since the second grade, and she's been she's really cool though. But she got sent away for some reason. Sent away? Yeah, she's had an attitude problem. Oh wow, that's crazy. I know people like that. I'm gonna go over there and ask her if we can play pool with her. You crazy? I'm not going over there. She might hit us. Okay. Fine, I'll go. All right, go on ahead. Hey, can I play? I don't know, can you? I'm pretty sure I can take you. All right, let's play then. Power. You think you're funny, right? Huh? What do you mean? Did you really have to say, I don't know, can you? Look, I'll say whatever the hell I feel like. Why do you even come over here and bother me? Go back with your little friend. Yo, like, what the hell is wrong with you? Why do you have an attitude? Didn't realize I did. I didn't realize I did. Why do you always have an attitude? Like, I really want to know. Look, just play the game. All right. No, seriously, I really, really want to know. Why do you always have an attitude with people for no apparent reason? Oh, man, it's too hot for this. Can you just drop it before I smack you? You ain't going to smack nobody. I'm not scared of you. Really? All right, play the game. So you really want to know why I act the way I do? Buy me a slice of pizza. A slice of pizza for a story? All right, whatever. Asking, right? <laughs> All right, no problem. Um, actually, I woke up one day. I must have been mad as hell. I'm in second grade. I'm seven years old. All right, it's only like four or three Spanish kids. I knew the teacher was talking about me because I was the only Spanish kid standing up. Hmm. So she, so I'm walking around in the class. All of a sudden, I hear the teacher say, "I think she's African." So imagine how this is about to sound. Oh, I hate it. I hate how um Spanish kids act. They don't know how to act sometimes. So, whoa, exactly. Crazy. So me, with the only attitude and look. Excuse me. I'm a seven-year-old. I don't know how to comprehend to that. But for me, it's racist. I go take the wooden chair that she's sitting at with wheels, and I pick it up and throw it at her. Yo, you crazy. Yo, I had a little temper problem. You threw a chair at a teacher? At a, yes, I threw, my, I threw a chair at my second-grade teacher. Basically, I had a temper problem when I was younger. Did you? They had... Call the cops. Um, cops asked the teacher, would you like to press charges? So right before she answered that, I was like, whoa, wait, wait. What? 
so the principal comes home and you have to call her grandmother for you to say you want to press charges. So Wait, so the teacher wanted to press charges on a seven year old? Wow. Exactly. So the principal comes waiting before you have to answer anything about that. You have to call her parents. So they call my grandmother. My grandmother came to the school. The cops explained to her. Cops asked the teacher again, would you like to press charges? The teacher comes out of nowhere. Look at this bruise. What do you think I want to do? Press charges, of course. So there was like, oh, well, since she's, they told my grandmother, the cops, since she said she wants to press charges, it's either you sign her over to boot camp, she gets arrested, or we take her in to ACS. And since my grandmother didn't want them to take me away, she signed me over to boot camp. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, like, I had a week to pack up, they sent me off. When did you get out? When did I get out? So like all together, how long was I How long I was in? Like six years. I came out at age 12. <laughs> so my counselor was telling me, go back to class, listen to whatever the teachers got to tell you, and do what you got to do. So I took it as that. I started listening. My temper started going down a little more. I didn't care what people were saying. Long, like he said, as long as nobody touched me, I was good. And then at that, when he said that, it kind of reminded me of what my grandmother had also told me one time. Don't ever pay attention to what the next person's got to say to you. Because truthfully, you know the truth about your own self. You know what you've done in life. You ain't got to worry about what the next person has got to say to you. Because the only way words can hurt you is if you let them. Texting me like every 10 minutes now. It's getting kind of annoying. Yeah, you're so tortured. No, for real. He can get pushy. He's gonna call you. Don't worry about it. Whatever. I haven't heard from him since Friday. That's good though. At least he has his own life. Unlike me, I have no life. Don't be so dramatic. You don't need him. You don't need anybody but me. Uh huh. Sure. <clears throat> Is it true Stephanie was at the center today? Yeah. I can't believe she's around. Weird, weird right? That girl scares me. Is it true she beat up like three girls in juvie? I would not doubt it, but I'm definitely staying away. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Who's that? It's him. Ooh. Hello? Hey, what's up? Yeah, we can chill. What's your address again? Well, I'm, I'm already outside, so. All right, see you later, bye. You should have told me tomorrow. I don't have time for games. See you later, right? Alright. <laughs> um, you know Jessica? Mm hmm She was one of my closest friends before I ever went in there. Jessica? Yeah. So, how come you guys are not talking? I don't know. She probably thinks different of me now. Like, when I came out, I still showed a little anger. This is so, Like I said, I still show a little anger here and there. And, like, she probably thinks, since everybody's always talking about me and talking shit and all that, I know I'm not stupid, you know. But, like, I don't know how she would react. Hello. Do you want to be friends with her? Yeah, of course. We're close. Thanks. So, why don't you just tell her how much she means to you and tell her you miss her? I would want to, but it's basically up to her how she will react. Yeah. All you could do is try, just go up to her and express yourself to her and tell her that you miss being friends with her, that's all. Mm -hmm. right.
up? Hey, what's up? Look, I know you may think, I know people talk I'm shit about me, but. I don't care. I'm, I gotta go. Okay, I'm just. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Just. Are you sure you don't look? Why are you even talking to me? Leave me alone, okay? I gotta go. Jess. tight, right? I mean, I don't think I've ever had a friend as close as we were. Really? Nope. Never. Look, I just wanted to be the way it was when we were younger. So will you please tell me what's wrong? Just... This guy. What happened? Did he do something? So, I went up to his house. He. He what? What did he do? He. I didn't. I didn't want to. Something wrong? Nothing. Are you sure nothing is wrong? Why is she here? Did you say? Come on, don't be like that. Like what? I don't like her. This school is this. Okay, why? Like I don't want to sit by somebody who goes around trying to drown people. How are you talking about? Yeah, where did you get that from? Pool of him with a fish. But who told you? It doesn't matter who told me that, it's the fact that I know. The fact is that you don't know what you're talking about. Yo, say that in my face, yo. I'm talking to well, you. you guys, calm down now. You? I don't know who told you that, but it's not true. Stephanie's not that type of person, all right? Whatever. I ain't messing with her. Look, I'm not gonna let you disrespect Stephanie like that, all right? Look, either you gonna come over here, sit down, and get to know the girl, or what? Because nobody's entertaining your drama. I'm Stephanie. Danielle. This is my best friend, Jessica. So you ain't trying to drown nobody? Keep talking though, she might. I used to call you Mighty Mouse. What was the theme song? I don't know. <laughs> 